Hey everyone, it's Miss Snyder. Um, if you're watching this, then we have gone to remote learning. Um, so today for our lesson, we are going to be talking about greater than, less than, or equal to when it comes to fractions. And I'm going to show you by modeling on the screen, um, and then I'm going to have you guys do a five question quiz at the end. Um, so we're going to start off with the I can statement. And it reads, I can compare and write down the results of two fractions that can that have different numerators and denominators by using relational symbols greater than, less than, or equal to, and use visual models to do so. So I put several examples on here, um, and I'll kind of go through how I want you guys to do that. Um, and then when you're done, you'll just hit submit on your Google Classroom, and it'll come to me. So we are going to go over some terms to know. Um, again, relational symbols, as you can guess, these are symbols such as greater than, less than, and equal to. Um, and then the numerator, this is going to be the number above the line in a fraction, and it shows how many parts um, are going to be taken away from the denominator or kind of colored in on the model. Um, for example, this would be two, the number 2 whenever it comes to 2 thirds. Again, so that's numerator is the top. Um, denominator is the bottom below, or the number below the line, sorry, in a fraction, and it indicates the number um, to make a whole. So, for example, it would be the 3 in 2 thirds because there's going to be three, um, 3 sections to make that whole. So in a way that I remember this is that I put, I think of like down, denominator, down, they both start with D. Um, so in my brain, that tells me that the denominator is down, it's on the bottom. We're gonna go over and kind of review those relational symbols I was talking about, just so that you know um, which one to use on your PowerPoint um, before you submit it. Wanna make sure you have those correct. Um, obviously, the equal to will probably be the easiest one for you guys because you've seen an equal sign before. Um, but greater than and less than, those can kind of get confusing. So you're going to kind of want to think of it as, um, I guess the way I think of it is that it points to the lesser of the two. So greater than is going to be this red um, symbol right here. And it's going to, um, like I said, point to the right. Then there you're going to have the less than sign, and it's going to point to the left. It's going to be that yellow sign. And the good thing about this is that we're going to work through several of these PowerPoints together, and then you'll be able to work on your quiz by yourself. Um, but then that way, at least, you will um, you can come back and reference these. I wanted to make sure you guys had a reference. I'm not trying to make it difficult on you guys at all. Um, so we're going to go right into kind of work through together. And sorry, these are a little blurry. I was trying to um, copy and paste them off of the worksheet that we would have done in class if we weren't remote learning, and they came through a little bit blurry. Um, but we can still work with them. So we're going to decide if one fourth or one third is greater, uh, or if one fourth is greater than, less than, or equal to one third. Again, the top number is the numerator, the bottom number is the denominator. So the way that we can do this with modeling, um, with the models, is I've created these little dots over here for you guys. That way you can kind of show, since we can't like physically color them in, you can at least dot the areas that are supposed to be shaded in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and there are four parts to the whole. Like I said, the denominator is how many parts make up the whole. The numerator is what we're going to shade in or color in. So I'm just going to go ahead over here and grab one and drag that one over to that section. Kind of just indicates what's colored in there. Over here, there's three, three parts to the whole. We are going to cover up one of those as well. So the numerators in this one are correct. All right, and so by looking at the models, it kind of helps me visually, it for sure helps me, um, know which one is greater just by looking at it, just so I don't have to do the math on it. Um, I can tell that one third is greater. So I said it's going to point to the lesser of the two. 
So I'm going to drag over the lesser than sign. Or the, yes, the lesser than sign. So one fourth is lesser than one third. You're going to say it like a sentence straight across. So one fourth is lesser than one third. All right, we're going to go over here and we're going to work through another one. Here's another one with a common numerator. I don't think all these are, no, that one's not. So with this one, there's 16 parts that make up the whole. But we're only going to shade in one. So we're going to drag our little dot over there. Then we're going to go, there's eight parts that make up the whole, but we're only going to color in one. And by looking at this, try to make it, I'm sorry, as close as possible. Um, by looking at this, I can then again see that one sixteenth is lesser because it has less of an area colored in than the one eighth would. One sixteenth is less than one eighth. And if you have any questions at all, please email me. Let me know. Um, write them on this assignment when you go to submit it. That way we can get it all straightened out before we go to the next one. All right, working through number three that we have. Um, here is one where it's different numerators and different denominators. So right here we have the three parts of the whole, but we're only going to color in the one. Oh, we're going to mess it up here. Let's see. I'm going to make sure I can. I'm going to send this to the back. So the dot, there you go. There's the dot. There's the dot. So then here, this is 16ths, 16ths that make up a whole, but we're going to color in five this time. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and our fifth one right there. Okay. So imagine all this colored in, kind of ignore that white space. Sorry, I was trying to find something that would dot it appropriately. Um, but you're going to go ahead and you're going to shade in this area and this area. So on this one, it's kind of close, but I do think, I guess we could do the math on it as well. Um, so one third and five sixteenths one third is going to be greater than. So one third is greater than five sixteenths on there. Um, the way we can also do that is to find like a common denominator um, between these two, it's kind of hard, but if you remember in class, what you'll do is you will find a common denominator. Um, and once you find that common denominator, you make sure you multiply the top and the bottom the same. Um, once you find out your um, the answers on there with the common denominator, you'll see that one third um, is greater than the five sixteenths on there. Um, and that can be for our next lesson. I, I need to type up something that kind of better explains that one. I don't want to leave you guys confused there. Let's go to our example number four. All right, and so we have one fourth and two eighths. So when it comes to this one, there are four parts that make up a whole. We're gonna bring over our dot to color in just our one of the four. On this one, we're gonna color in two of the eight that make up the whole. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dots. All right, so what you'll notice about this one is that they're equal. They look completely the same. Um, this one kind of would be easier to say, kind of compare or show you what I mean by um, like making sure they have common denominators because you could just multiply four by two and get eight, one by two and get two, and then you have two eighths. So two eighths and two eighths would obviously be equal. Um, so for this one, we're gonna put an equal sign there and that's how that one's gonna work out. Um, after this one, I am going to post this individual um, 
PowerPoint as is right now. So I'm going to leave the examples up here for you. But I'm going to post this PowerPoint to each of your Google Classrooms. So you guys are going to take your individual quiz, and that's kind of going to be your assignment for today, something to work on. Um, and here are, there's the two sixth and six sixteenths. And then I think I have three sixteenths and two eighths. One sixth and two sixteenths. And one third and two sixths. So again, with your individual quiz, I want you to please uh, move the relational symbols in between the two fractions to make the statement correct. And you're going to do so kind of like we did with how we just reviewed by moving over these dots and coloring it in. If you're unsure or they're too close, then go ahead and do the find the common denominator um, for me. And then when you find the common denominator, then you'll know for sure which one's greater than the other one. If one is leaving you confused, please leave a note on here or email me. Let me know it's confusing you. Um, and then I will, and like, I will get in contact with you individually and we will go through what to do on that um, so that next time you can know what to do. Um, but like I said, don't go, don't um, please not know what to do. Um, don't like make sure you ask for help is what I'm trying to say. So I hope you guys have a great day and come to me for anything. Um, but yeah, make sure you uh, submit this assignment. It'll be due by tomorrow. This is your homework for today.